Uh, hello again. Shooting with cinematic settings at the moment. Wide length. Let me know how you feel about it. Okay, so this is my six or something residence in Bern. I mean in Switzerland. And I'm so glad it has an Ukrainian flag about it. I love it. So I will move in tomorrow. And right now I will walk to my previous residence, I mean my current residence, in Kyrenitz, on the other side of Ben. Let's go! I've also boosted the anti-shake settings, so let's see how it goes. Anyway, this looks less pompous than the rest of Bern, of course, which will pass soon. This looks like normal modern buildings, block or panel buildings or something like that. It's nice though, don't you think? You still have these beautiful views there and there. And some greens and this looks much less intimidating than the old city of Bern let's see what the navigation says navigation says go that way, but I don't really want to go that way. Uh, just a second. Nah, I don't really want to go that way. Looks scary. I'll walk this way. So again, this is another episode of Peep Show. Shapiro Production. I will find a way to smooth my actual walking, shaking somehow in the future. Right now with the raw footage it's funny I'm walking in a barefoot sh shoes and this is a footage a bare footage long thigh massage and spa looks promising okay let's see huh. nice bike shed I hope I will move tomorrow before the heavy rains for my bike won't get all wet but who cares actually never mind that let's go it will the battery will be enough for the whole walk I'm listening to music but you are not and this 
to listening to music in addition to watching this video. I was biking with my speaker and uh, the footage that you will probably be published before this one and YouTube told me that it would demonetize it or restrict that video from being monetized I have no idea what the fuck this must mean I don't want to monetize my videos I just want YouTube just to serve them but uh, anyway the music quality was so shitty on that video because it actually is shot from a small ass speaker small ass portable JBL speaker and uh, recorded on this uh, lame ass GoPro microphone nevertheless this video will be demonetized or something I will probably arrange some sort of posting for my videos on my own terms so I won't have to deal with this YouTube bullshit I wonder if they analyze the sound with the videos posted so this video might also get demonetized because of uh, I talk shit about YouTube let's see how it goes I also wonder what this direct sun will look like on the recording but I will try to get in the shade in a few seconds so just bear with me Hey, Google lady, I think I should turn right here, right? The Google lady keeps silent. It says Kita Wombat, I wonder. Kita is a class in Hebrew. I wonder if that really is some kind of Jewish kindergarten or Never mind. Yeah, thank you. She just told me to turn left. I will. I will, my daughter. Some more direct sun in the lens. Thank you very much, Costa. And let's go. Did I tell you how nice is it it is to walk with barefoot Vibram barefoot shoes on an asphalt pavement? Well I lied. It's not nice. It's actually quite hard and you get tired pretty soon. Barefoot shoes uh, for walking at, uh, on grass or uh, you know smooth stones or something nice that you would actually like to walk with your bare foot with your bare feet. Right okay typical pizzeria is called anything or a fast food pizzeria is like a synonym for a fast food establishment here so pizzeria usually sells burgers sausages whatever I would actually go in here, but 
this video will probably then get demonetized because there's something playing in the background there. Anyway, uh, this is also typical for Switzerland, a tower watch or a watchtower or anyway, a thigh massage again. Okay, so uh, a tower with a clock. You will see that a lot if you visit Switzerland. Right now it has just a cross on it. Let's see if it has a clock on the other side. It must have. Because that's the main religion in Switzerland. Time. Pray to time. Time is a main deity. Everything in its time. So yeah, this is the time for me for visit to visit Switzerland. And that's what I'm doing. Now a couple of thoughts. Um the next two days going to be rainy. This, that's the, what the forecast says. Now I was I arranged moving forward in the next two days after the rainy days. The, the following two days oh. um, so uh, supposed to be uh, two sunny days in the middle of uh, quite a few rainy days so my uh, maximum plan right I hope it's uh, this QR code shows you the current time otherwise it's useless and it's always useless as well anyway so, um, yeah, um, I think I'm going to Geneva, Geneva, at the moment. Uh, I wonder if I, if I can get there in just two days. Oh, shit. I'm tapping in the Google. What is going on? There's some more Ukrainian flag. I wonder if the support is real because uh, I see quite a bit of flag more that I've seen in Israel one of the reasons that I left okay let's go here and just take a look at this typical Switzerland mid-urban neighborhood looks actually nice not too bad not too bad uh, I will set this footage to a music and put it somewhere else my YouTube won't demonetize me or some shit. <coughs> Sorry, I will have to find 
a place to pee soon. Now, so nice. Auf Wiedersehen. Okay. What do we have here? Momo is some kind of Tibet cuisine pit. It's everywhere here. I didn't even know that Tibet had a cuisine. I thought they were eating rocks there. But apparently Tibet cuisine is a big hit in Switzerland. Right there with Turkish Dona. Nepali kitchen, even better. Yeah. So Nepal has cuisine as well. You won't tell, you won't tell. Yes, it's typical. Contemporary art shit. Water station. This is interesting. I will look at it later. I will tell it. This really says that it must have be rain tomorrow because. Actual forecast says it will be. Anyway, I went for for a couple hundred meters, and there's a little more than 40 minutes to go. Let's see how it goes. Don't miss the casino if you're in Burma. Because everywhere you see signs pointing to casino. Oh, Angola. Angolan embassy. Am I in the embassy region? I like embassy regions. Kind of funny. There's also some flag on the other side of the street. Probably some other. Embassy, yeah, I think it is. I used to live in an embassy region, an embassy area in Tokyo. It was fun. So, what flag is this? Can you guess? I won't get any closer. I don't care too much. Okay. So Bern, Bern, Bern is an administrative center of Switzerland, or more formally, Helvetian Federation, or Swiss Federation, or another half dozen of names that you can call Switzerland. Oh, I know this flag. This is Vatican. It's so nice. But it doesn't have a cross on it. It's just this. This is a nice house. Yeah, I would expect that much from a Vatican embassy. Papa, 
How are you doing? Cool. Okay. There will be some direct highlight. I'm sorry, direct sunlight right into the lens again. Sorry about that. I, I still wonder how it looks. I still wonder how it looks uh, on the recording. Direct sun right in your face we are coming out of the Velostrasse yeah that's appreciated actually bicycles are really big here so Velostrasse sounds about right Jungfraustrasse sounds even better according to my poor German okay Ukrainian flag yet again and which embassy is that? I have to see which embassy Twice the Ukrainian flags of this size, uh, bigger, larger than their own flag. This is some UN shit, and this is Norway. Well, well done, Norway. Support Ukraine, you fuckers. And this is, won't fucking believe it, this is Canada. Hi Canada. Canada supports Ukraine as well. Look at that. Nice. Okay. So. Actually, while in Canada, I've seen not too many Ukrainian flags. I mean, much less than here. I wish it would be more. I'm not sure what this is, but this house is fucking beautiful. It's right out of a fairy tale. Yeah, I would like to visit here. I wouldn't like to be living here, but. I would like to visit. This is UN again. Romania, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, the flag right this time. Well done, me. I wonder if the way I'm going, I will see those beautiful view from the fish that I've seen on my way here. I hope I will. I hope I will. Tanz Pavilion. Sounds nice. And here we have the spaghetti embassy. Hi, Pastra. Hmm. That's weird. This really a crest of Italy this time? But it could be something else. Mm. Like fascist. Maybe it sounds. Look it up. It's nice. But this actually is a 
something else. Anyway, Italy is right next to Emirates or Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. I also, I always, I also, I always mix them up. Hey, Saudi Arabia. Never mind that, so this is another embassy and that time is I don't remember which flag, which country's flag that was. Okay. Are we done with the embassies yet? Let's see. No, there's some flags ahead. So let's keep guessing. Ah, okay. This is even an idiot like me can guess. Spania! Yeah! Kirchenfeldstrasse Oh shit The Google lady just said told me to turn left but I'm not sure I want to because it's a nice bridge about this so yeah, what she means by turning left she wants me to cross at some other place well, you know what? okay I'll listen to her This is one bridge, and we'll cross this. I think it's Rhine, Rhine River. We'll cross, we'll cross it in another place, in another bridge. Okay, this is so obviously some sort of church, which looks old but might not be too old actually this neighborhood is as you may see is probably filled with diplomats and some really really high-ranking people because it's both Switzerland it's the capital of Switzerland and that's the embassy neighborhood. These are the people you wouldn't like to mess with. I wonder I've seen just now the cars look suspiciously cheap here. Something's wrong. I wish I had a guide who would tell me that some really smartest people and know that live here with cars like Subaru or Citroen whatever. Okay. And occasional Porsche. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of Porsche in the city, so this neighborhood doesn't look particularly, you know, rich. Oh, Helvetia Strasse. 
Helvetia is something they thought up. No Ukrainian flags. Okay, so Helvetia is something that some mountain dwellers came up with and it's impersonated by a beautiful lady of course yeah in Colombia whatever I was hoping to find some place to, you know, exchange liquids, grab a tea and also visit their washroom, but that won't happen for some time now. Well, it didn't happen until now. Gymnasium of some sort. Yeah. You know what, Google lady? You're okay. You could be much worse. This part is not actually too bad. Okay, just for the record. The music that I'm hearing at the moment is a radio new show. Le Jazz et la Java. I'm a big fan of radio new. Actually, of anything new. This Shit. so nice. Look at that. That's nice as well. This must be some high ranking cat right there. So, um, in case you're watching this on YouTube, put some jazz of the kind that you like in the background. That's what I'm listening to at the moment and it really suits the walk. And it's used this neighborhood as well. Which is not too posh, to my surprise. Well, people are, uh, you know, they don't, uh, excess and luxury, but I would expect this neighborhood would be a little more upscale and I'm pleasantly surprised I'm actually pleasantly surprised about Switzerland in general it's much nicer and I get an impression before I came here 
All right. So we are nearing the, the river, and my next best option is to find some bushes. which will do as well as any other washroom. Wildstrasse named after Heinrich Wild which was a physicist and meteorologist. Yeah, you, now you know something that you have absolutely no use for the best kind of knowledge. My feet and my bladder are getting really tired. Now, this house I would want to live in for. Time. This is nice. With the rest of the stuff. Maybe I have a little tea here. Let's see. All right, that was nice. One call of nature, satisfied. And for free. I'm not sure that was appropriate. Or comment for. Anyway. I don't care, it worked. So yeah, now I know where we are. Oh, this is actually a missed opportunity. What time is it? Shit, it's almost there. Get to you some other time. It's so nice. Look at this. The river is so nice. It's so fast. Oh, just some nice stones. And there's some nice people in it. Well, that's one direction. Not here. Would like to go. So nice. And I think I recognize the other side. It's not far from my home now. From my current Airbnb residence in Königs. Good luck, buddy. I'm swimming against the Low. Okay. It's survival way of commuting in summer actually. It's probably faster than the other direction.
They're also big on writing stuff on the pavement. Okay, Google lady, would you like me to cross over here? Yeah, you do. You would, I'm sorry. At some point this raw footage will become a beautiful video documentary. And then we'll cut out all this rambling with shitty accent and put some sex lady voice or something of the sort yeah it's definitely different the view from the other bridge was something else this is nice as well, but not that grand. to wash it off. It's nice. It's I think it is. And it's yeah, this is pretty close to home already. It's about 20 minutes walk from here far as I can remember. Oh. Did I no, I I'm I'm going the right direction. Anyway. This is basically one side of the city to the other. It's not a huge city. It's it's not even large for a village, but it is. But it's a nice village. A nice town. Wouldn't you say so? Yeah. It says something about something and something. This is what you get for visiting Switzerland. You will now always be thinking why everywhere cannot be like Switzerland in some regard, in some other regard like Japan and then in some other regard like 
Saudi Arabia or Spain or whatever. The crowd, the crowd just have to, just taking a bath. <laughs> look at this, look at this crow. It's a wet crow. You know, just to ch stitch those two videos together will be a problem. I wonder, I mean, I'm recording it 5.3k resolution. It will not be like this on YouTube or even any other posting that I will put in it at. But it may provide some quality benefits. I wonder what that thing is hanging from above the river. Let's get close and see. Yeah, I know where you're looking at. You're not too interested in the thing hanging above the river at the moment, I bet. But come on, they're probably not even legal. Our legal age is really here, is really nice here. Because people can drink alcohol, as in beer and wine, and also cider, from the age of 16. Which makes the most sense, actually. Alright. So... What is this? I think what it's meant to do is to restrict boats which are too tall to pass underneath it. Because if you're that tall, you will crash into the bridge downstream. An emergency board or something. There's no lock on it. You can actually. You can actually take it in a case of emergency, I guess. Or something. Right. Okay, this is some camping grounds right here. You must pay to, to camp here, of course. But if you want to be in a city, 
and also be camping, I guess you have little choice. That's the craziest idea, to be camping in the city. Why would you like to do that? Laziness. I think that's the reason. I wonder what that is. It doesn't look old. It looks something of a reconstruction or something. Maybe it is old. I'm not sure. Yep, that's the camping ground that I was talking about. Maybe I'll look at the other side stuff at some point. Okay, and they're also big on their own flags right here in Switzerland. National identity, a bit of a problem. So better stick a sticker flag in it. Stick a flag anywhere. Well, the last time I like the view of the other shore. Looks amazing. Actually, yeah. Really nice. Well, is anyone having a barbecue? Or just a campfire in the middle of the day? Well, no, it's not the middle of the day. It's quite late. Clean. You see? So many people and so little litter. Because culture. Does your country look this way? I doubt that. I really doubt it. Okay, so this is camping light. It has a camping eatery, vending machines, showers, all the other amenities. Really good washrooms have been there before, which are also free. Don't laugh. Free washrooms is a rarity in Switzerland because everything has its price, which you have to pay. So, this is Wabern or Kionitz. A taxi driver told me. A subtle difference between Königs and Wabern, but anyway, this is the neighborhood. It's a nice suburb. These nice houses.
and public transportation as well. Ah, so good to walk in these barefoot shoes on something that is not asphalt. The shadow. A decat with a dick in his hand. <laughs> yeah. I could have just Exited the house and walked up a mountain. And I never did. Because I work from travel. It's not the best idea. Fuck me. If, if Muller means Spencer, it's really interesting. A lot of construction. A bit too much construction to my taste, actually. But it feels like everywhere else. Either people Either people mm. Either people Can't Build Proper houses Anymore which lasts or they just want to renovate everything and all the time this is a sign you see a lot in Switzerland It's nice. And it feels like we're out of a town, but we're not. It's just a field of wheat inside a town. And we also have a cat in the distance, which probably hunts some mouse which get fed on those these those wheat grains and red cat probably has an advantage in such wheat field
What berries are those? I have no idea. I'm not going to try. You know, I just noticed I haven't seen much squirrels here. I don't think I've seen a single one in Switzerland. I wonder who eats squirrels or it's just, you know, squirrels stay out of neutral countries, which could also be a possibility. We're really close now, and here's another. I feel the wheat. English with the dish kirsch makes sense. Methodish is Switzerland. It's another word for Switzerland. Methodish. Oh, not just sweet. You know, all that kind of stuff here. Yeah. So if, if supplies get cut, this neighborhood will survive. And the battery just ran out. Which is yes, bullshit. I also pulled it out, it was boiling hot. It was almost scorching hot. So yeah, we are at the wheat and other kind of fields here again. And we have just a few more minutes to get to my current home place. I wonder what this sign means. And usually something in a red circle should mean something is forbidden. But why would you forbid a dog in a field? Maybe because they shit and you don't want to you don't want the dogs to shit where you grow food? No, I'm not sure this is the reason or this is the actual meaning of this sign. This looks nice. This is a cotton candy tree. But I won't try it either. Alpenstrasse. Almost home. Progress. I need progress. I have too little progress in the recent years. Mm. How do you make progress? I'm sorry, this isn't entirely appropriate. There are sad questions in the middle of such beautiful sunny evening. 
in a nice neighborhood, in a nice town, near a nice city, in a nice country, and in one of the nicest places on this planet, which doesn't give too many fucks about other places. But still, sometimes it gives a little, a few. Oh, this cat. It's a really scary cat. Right there. That's the idea, to warn the passing car drivers of a scary cat that lives here. It's called Kinder Kids. Beware. You can be attacked. Horribly mauled and mutilated by a cat named Kinder Kids. I'm quite hungry already, so here what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk for five more minutes. We're gonna enter the residence and we want to we will get all that I have out of the fridge. Put it on in our bowl. Put some olive oil on it and eat it. Now, where would you like me to go next? Let me know in the comments or something. Or just shout out. Would you like to go somewhere together? It's a possibility.
Hmm. Yep. That's my place. Grau Holzweg. Coming right up. Grau Holzweg. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for walking with me through Bern, Switzerland. See you soon.